Hello guys, this is Ranger Rob <laughs> from the Ranger Rob Country Living with another thrilling episode of Frickin' Snow. Yes siree. Not really sure how much we got here. It looks like about three inches. And it's been a real fine snow, but everything's covered. And of course that makes all the chores harder. So uh, it's real pretty out. Dogs are having fun. And uh, Belle just loves the snow. Cinder's kind of eh. But uh, what you got, Belle? Come here, Belle. What you got? Yeah, she's just like a puppy. One year old puppy. Oh, we got to get out here. I left the, I gave the chickens water yesterday and left their container out here in the snow. So I got to come out and get it. The poor chickens, we have a security camera on the chickens. And since it was so windy last night when it was snowing, a lot of snow went into their um, pen. And so they don't want to come out much. So uh, we're going to take a look. It's real pretty. See how pretty it is? And our round two of snow is starting up. And uh, so we're supposed to get more. But you can see. Ah! Chickens aren't very happy. And uh, so I'm going to go check their food. So yeah, their water is all frozen. And I left the container out here. So we gotta go back in the house, fill it up, give these chickens some water. They have lots of food, they didn't eat much. But I had to unbury their food because it got a little bit of snow in it. But yeah, look how the snow came in from the sides. So, uh, yeah. And it's starting to snow again. So let's go get their water. What you got? Bell, what you got? Come here, Brielle. Come on, Cinder. Let's go. Whoosh. I have to laugh. I just went back into the house and grabbed some water for the chickens. And the dogs came in. So then I go back outside. And of course, Belle, German Shepherd, is like, oh yeah, let me out. <laughs> Chocolate Lab goes, ah, I'll stay. I'll watch Dr. Phil. <laughs> and, uh, and by the way, today is our first time that Sherry is actually has the opportunity to work virtual. So that's really cool. So she didn't have to drive in this crappy weather. So uh, anyway, let's give these chickens some water. And then we're going to play with, play with Belle. Let her play in the snow a little. She's really cute. So, huh. Are you really cute? Yeah. Alrighty, let me get this, this water to them. Alright guys, I didn't get eggs yet, but there's nine in there. I thought I'd let Belle play in the snow a little bit. You playing in the snow? Go Belle. Go, 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 go. Come on. Whoosh, what you doing? You like the snow? Huh? Whoosh! Here, here. I'm gonna get you. You got a dirty nose. You got a dirty nose. Come on, let's go. Come on. Whoosh. 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 <laughs> gonna get you. Arr. You like the snow? Arr. Come on, baby. What are you doing? I'm going to get you. <laughs> you got a dirty face. There she is. Gotcha. Come on. Let's go. What are you doing? <laughs> you pretty girl. Let's go. 
Well, now you like the kicking game. You're so silly. Whoosh. Come on. Dang, dog. You jump a lot. Let's go. <laughs> you good girl. Huh? Ow. Careful. Careful. Let's go. Come on. Get you. Yeah. You like the snow, don't you? You like the snow. <laughs> you got a wet face. You got all snow. You see? Let's go. So as you can see, Bill really likes the snow. Cinder could just get along just great without it. Come on, baby. And uh looks real pretty back here. Pond. Somehow the pump is still running. So that looks real pretty. So it'll be interesting to see how much snow we get on round two here. And I still gotta get the eggs. And we are back. I have to go out and get the eggs. And uh, uh, the chocolate lab didn't want to come outside again. I don't, just don't get it, but Belle does. So before I uh, go much farther, I was actually watching a video with a, an interview with a, a Ice Age Farmer. And uh, I think I said it right. And one of the conversations that we were talking about is the destruction of the nuclear family, the mother-father set up. And uh, one of the things I've kind of noticed a lot is a lot of the homestead or country living people <clears throat> tend to be that nuclear family thing, knowing how important all this is to sustain regular families and, and strong families and children being exposed to real things. <clears throat> And so that's what this channel's been all about, is obviously Sherry and I are older, our kids are grown up, but they're uh, all traditional families, and uh, we're very pleased about that. Um, so the, on this channel, what we're trying to show you is um, us starting from scratch, pretty much, of trying to set up a self-sustaining cycle of uh, growing our own food which means the importance of growing food having animals and having those animals help sustain the food a cycle um, uh, like our chicken waste does not go to waste we're bringing rabbits in to use their waste and then we'll sell their babies um, <clears throat> and keep a cycle going um, we'll actually even have some pet birds here to check her, but we'll still utilize their Droppings into our gardens and stuff and uh, that's what the rabbits are for Anyway, so that's what this channel is all about. This channel is about Showing you that we're starting from scratch So you probably notice it's taking forever to get a greenhouse done and then we're always set back with things like weather and uh, Sherry still works uh, because you know we're showing the realities that uh, you still need income, you still need health insurance, and uh, you know you have your normal life uh, needs. At the same time, you can be more self-sufficient. And uh, I really think uh, I've seen so many situations already that since we prepped, uh, you know we we can't. Well, we could leave, but we don't need to. We have plenty of food. We're warm and cozy. I could even lose power and still be fine. Um, <coughs> and uh, I'm starting to build the utilities and the buildings to uh, have a greenhouse and grow food in a longer season. And uh, I'm really proud of that. And that's what I want to put emphasis in this channel is 
we are a family starting from scratch which a lot of you guys will be too and this is how we're doing it it would look different for everybody and uh, I hope you like that and uh, in the meantime if I want to keep feeding ourselves with eggs I gotta get our eggs so I peeked in here earlier and uh, took a look and I can see I got a lot of eggs in here so uh, chickens are out they're happy they're getting food and water because their water froze and uh, fighting the elements too so we got uh, two eggs in here that one there you see the mark on it that's a ceramic egg and uh, I'm not sure if that really made a difference yeah I gotta hold this thing up with my head um, but uh, let's put it this way my eggs egg production is really good so we got four eggs here six eggs here. gosh I got ten eggs look at that well, let me make sure I don't put a ceramic egg in here I'm still waiting these ceramic eggs look so uh, real see that's the ceramic egg that I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for my one of these days that I actually grab a ceramic egg sorry I gotta I think when you do your own YouTube channel I think sometimes it'd be nice to have uh, no eggs over here I did add a whole bunch of hay in the main house with this cold weather uh, just to try to but you know the chickens all perch so it's like yeah I want to keep them warm but I hope hopefully the chickens have enough common sense to realize what they need to do to stay warm uh, we do have a trap door you can't see it <laughs> in the front of the house but we always forget to close it but uh we're still in our sorry I had to get my water thing we're still in our uh, in our 20s uh, before we're getting close to the minus or zero degrees I think I'd put more effort into uh, making sure that door is shut I want to show you something real quick you know you guys saw a video we did about Star Starlink and this is uh, the satellite and uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny if you look really close right here is uh, the Starlink satellites have a built-in heater so it constantly melts the snow but it also creates icicles so but I just did a test this morning still got great speed so uh, I'm not touching it we'll just see how what happens I'm trying to kind of put it through the no motions here and then I'm going to do another video telling you the ins and outs of the Starlink system so anyway guys that's all I got for today I want to thank you very much for watching please right now would you take the time to like our video and share our videos and don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube and if you're on Facebook would you like one of our the page that you're on we'd appreciate it so guys keep the faith do this it is a lot of work and hopefully you'll find our channel to be realistic to show you what we're doing the good times and the hard times you know bad times and uh, do it it's worth it it's so nice after you do all this work and that greenhouse will be done eventually and it's gonna feel really good and uh, uh, hopefully you'll get that opportunity so guys thank you for watching talk to you later bye now our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags available at Amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.